I am so sad. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Keegan. Hello. Today we are doing another moving vlog. The moving vlogs are never ending. Just kidding. They eventually will end. But I'm glad that they're not because I really enjoy moving vlogs. They're my favorite videos to watch and to film myself. Today, I am really excited for this moving vlog because I'm going to be unboxing and unpacking my decor. I'm also going to be doing other stuff and doing some organization. But like the first thing that I want to do is go through my bin of decor stuff because it is my favorite part of my apartment. <laughs> I have these shelves right here and I'm so excited to decorate them. My last apartment I had three. This apartment I have two shelves. I feel like the decor and the styling is what makes a house a home or an apartment a home. I'm so excited to do this. This is said bin of decor. I haven't even opened it yet. It's just been sitting here for a week now basically. So let's open her up. Let's crack her open. Oh, beautiful already. This is all my favorite stuff. I'm gonna have a lot of trash because I wrapped everything in like these foam or bubble wrap and I'm really nervous that some of it broke. We will see. Fingers crossed that nothing broke. I don't really know how I want to do this because I have more decor than I probably have space for in this apartment because this apartment is smaller than my last one. I think I might just take everything and like set it out on my kitchen island and then just kind of go for it. So I think I'm gonna clear off my island really quickly and then we will start. <laughs> Just unboxed all the decor. I don't think anything broke, which is a good sign, but I still have some coffee table books and like other little, I think these are all books, honestly, that I need to unwrap. But other than that, this is all of it. <laughs> and I've of course been listening to Speak Now, Taylor's version, duh. It's all so pretty. It's a little overwhelming, but I'm very excited. I think I wanna start with these. These are not drilled into the wall yet, which makes me a little anxious to put stuff on it, but I'll just be careful. Super, super careful. I'm going to unwrap these books really quickly though. Absolutely not. Am I afraid that this is going to knock over and come tumbling down? 100%. I don't know how I feel about it, but I will say the last time I decorated this in my last apartment, I wasn't obsessed with it either. And then I became obsessed with it over time. So I'm just gonna give it some time, give it some space, let it be, let it chill. There are a couple things that are kind of bothering me. Like this one has a lot of groups of three. This one has a lot of groups of two. I'm trying to figure out what I really wanna do with it here. I don't know, it'll come to me. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I will figure it out over time. This one right here is definitely angled, like crooked. Like it 100% has to be. And it really makes me nervous that I'm gonna knock it over by accident and then all this stuff will break. I don't want that to happen. I think this one has a lot of light stuff and this one has a lot of kind of like black, dark stuff. So I think I might need to switch that out. Maybe, mm, I don't know what I wanna do with this. I'm not questioning how I decorated my last one. We have all of this decor left behind. So I still wanna decorate my dining room table, my coffee table, this media stand, and then the dresser in my bedroom. Also a work in progress. I do want to take the label off of this. In my last apartment, I just had the books and then this little tray. I didn't have anything else. So it's definitely more cluttered than what it was before. Maybe I need some more stuff. Like I kind of want it to be cluttered. Like I think maybe it's too uniform now. I kind of want to stack stuff. I initially wanted to layer this, but it just kind of looked weird. Again, always open to a suggestion, but I think this may just be too uniform. Like I want it to be messy, but in like an aesthetic way. Aesthetically messy. I also have my kitchen island that I want to decorate. This is everything that we have left. So back there, you can kind of see it. I have this little wooden cutting board and this vase with some fake eucalyptus that I want to put on my kitchen island and I want to decorate it a little bit. I'm just going to kind of push some stuff out of the way and then we'll figure that out. So 
So the theme of today is not liking anything, but that's just the type of person I am. I never like something when I first do it, and then it grows on me. This is gonna grow on me. What will not grow on me is this little barcode right here. We're just gonna move that up a little bit. Yay. This is what we have. I really wanted to incorporate this little Ferris wheel that I have. I have a matching one in my bedroom that's like bigger. I'll show it to you guys. But I feel like before I had these three, and then I had like a little candle. This candle is the same size as that. So I feel like this is too much white. I think I need something a little bit taller. I don't know if I want to do a picture frame though. How is it that I moved into a new apartment that's smaller and I need to buy more decor? How? This is what we have. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, please give me your opinions. Now we're in my bedroom. So I have this little table. What's it called? Dresser? I'm going to need to put all this stuff away. Like this is my makeup and stuff that's going to go in my desk. So I need to take this off, but I'm going to have my TV hung up above it. So this is the other Ferris wheel that I was talking about. I got this when I was like a little kid. This is like right around the time that I started my YouTube channel. I got that. So I will keep that to the day I die. I'm just going to maybe rearrange some stuff on here a little bit. Obviously get rid of this, but I think I'm going to try to take the rest of the decor that I have and make this work. I really want to put this letter tray on here because I don't have a desk in my apartment. I have this. Let me just say that. I have this. But this is where I want to get ready and like not work. So I want to put this here, but I kind of am struggling with the arrangement of this. This is my like Alexa basically. And it has a screen. So I kind of use this as like a clock in my apartment so I can see when I wake up what time it is so I don't have to reach for my phone. But obviously this is covering it. So I'm kind of unsure about that. Listen, everything here is not going great. I do like this though. I think this is cute. This is a little hourglass. I got it from maybe at home no i think home goods a couple years ago like 2020 i think that's cute i'm happy with that and then my tv will go here this side not so sure about but we'll sit on it we'll live with it we'll see how it goes this is the rest of the decor that we have i think i want to put these maybe in my living room on that tv stand and then i'll put these maybe on this desk maybe on my nightstands okay what are our thoughts if we put this here and this here this TV will eventually be hung up. Mm, it's all right. Nothing special. More decor that I have. I have these two coasters. I'm going to put one on each nightstand. And then I have these two frames that are both empty. I think that I want to put one of these baskets up here. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh. I kind of almost just fell there. It's not like wanting to stay up, but eh, whatever. Oh my God. Yeah, it's kind of crumbling. Castle's crumbling, Taylor's version. That doesn't look as cute as I was hoping it would. I was also thinking that I could put some decor here. I don't really think I have anything big enough though. I'm playing around with the rearrangement of the decor on the shelf. Here's where we're at. Here's my thoughts. Like I said, I think there's too much dark decor on this one and too much light decor in this one. And I think that there needs to be like more stuff. Like there's too many groups of two. I was thinking of switching this one and this one. I have three of these vases that have the holes in them and I don't want, I don't want too many. So I feel like if I do that, there's too many on one side. I think this one needs something more. I really think about switching these, but again, these two. This one I hate and this one I hate. These two, I think I want to switch out in some other way. This shouldn't be this hard but it is when i was younger i wanted to be an interior designer but i think my issue is number one i'm too indecisive and number two i learned that like i can design things for other people that's not my taste part of me is considering swapping out these two right here because the black book you know what let's do that we're trying out some things let me look at it before i show you guys i think that did something i think it did i don't know about you guys but i think it helped a lot i will say i want to adjust this wait but do we think there's too many cylinders <laughs> i should stop talking i don't think that perfected it this shelf right here really drives me insane that one we need to do some fixing but other than that i think it looks good right what do we think let me know your thoughts <laughs> possibly might be better this might what do we think here the one thing that i'm struggling with is the black here and the black here i feel like it's too much but i don't know how i want to switch it out i don't know where else i'd put it because maybe that and this one no hmm i feel like i'm playing a game of like jenga no tetris this is tetris if you are not a decor person i'm probably annoying you it's fine i'm fine also i do plan on hanging this piece of art above my couch soon that will happen this however is one of my most prized possessions taylor swift has like two of my tiktok i was only able to to screenshot the notification of one of them the other one i noticed too late so i want to display this somewhere like this is important to me so i'm thinking maybe what if i put it in here as well that is that too much Two taylor swift stuff <laughs> no such thing as too much taylor swift i feel like it's like the changing of the guards i don't know why there's no such thing as too much okay i'm thinking maybe that wait just wait i have an idea i don't know if the execution will be flawless it's an idea nonetheless 
Wait, I kind of like it. What do we think? I could, you know, use a little bit of adjusting. I need to clean that candle because like so much dust got in it. Do we like this? Do we not like this? What are our thoughts? Maybe one thing I might need to do is kind of angle these coffee table books because maybe they're just too uniform. Hmm. I'm going to sit with it. I need to like put it down and stop messing with it. That's what I need to do. I need to figure out what I want to put in these frames, but I'm thinking... I could kind of do that out of these fake flowers from Amazon. Where are they? I can't see it in the view. Oh, they're right there. I couldn't see it in the viewfinder. Yeah, that's cute. Is it too much black next to the air fryer? I will say the kitchen is the one thing like decor wise that I don't care care about. Like it's not my number one priority. I am a perfectionist. Speaking of my perfectionism, that's gonna drive me insane. Look at it. It looks like it was injured. We also have my bathroom decor. That's always an option. This is what I have here. This is from Target. That's from JCPenney. And then along here, I have like one candle. And then this is a little fake cactus and that's a candle. I'm I'm thinking maybe changing out this candle. Let's move her out of the way. What if we did this? I think they're too similar in height, but I can't put anything tall in this corner because this needs to open. I'll leave it there. I don't think it'll stay, but I'll leave it there. Note to self, just because I have the decor doesn't mean I need to use it somewhere. I could always give it to Goodwill or give it to a friend, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> this is obviously messy right here. So I'm just gonna try these. Are these two spaced apart now? Okay, I need to stop. My indecisiveness, we'll just set these here. Okay, I think they are cute together. One last thing that I think I want to do today is put away the stuff in this desk. This is where I get ready to do my makeup. So I want to finally put the stuff away because it's just been sitting there for way too long. This one is not the most organized. I think I might turn this into like a desk drawer. Obviously this, obviously this is a desk drawer, like pens and pencils and things like that instead of makeup. I might do that instead because there's a lot of extra storage in here. This one is pretty much the exact same as the way I had it in my last apartment, but I'm really happy that I have that all done. I'm about to go to my old apartment right now because I want to clean it up a little bit. Technically, I didn't pay a deposit because they waived the fee when I moved in, so I don't really need to like, clean it to get a deposit back, but I just want to have it cleaned nice and ready to go. I'm sure they'll clean it before the next people move in, but I just want to be polite and have it cleaned up so it's not gross when I leave the place. I have my vacuum here. I obviously never show this stuff to you guys for safety reasons, but I'll show you guys what this little apartment looks like. So I lived on the second floor, which I really did like. And I brought my vacuum so I could vacuum it all up. When you walk out, this is it, second floor. And then my apartment is that one right there, 2102. And then I have this little key code. This is her. I'll give you guys one last little tour of this place because I'm kind of sad to leave it. But I still have a couple things that I need to bring back to my apartment. When you walk in, here's the kitchen. I like left my baking stuff behind, so I need to get rid of that. And I had all these doors open, so I won't forget anything. But dining room, living room. On this side is the bathroom. That's a storage closet. And then we're going to go into my bedroom. I'm going to miss this place. And then we had my bathroom and my closet. Is there anything in here? I don't want to leave anything behind by accident. I don't think so. I actually was here yesterday because I could not find my Apple Watch to save my life so I went here and I was like I wonder if it's still in here and it was it was in this drawer it was in the very back of this drawer but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to clean as much as I possibly can also you guys have definitely seen this view but I thought I'd show you it a little more in detail this is like the pool area so that's the pool this right here is the gym and then this is like a little barbecue area and people would always sit there and talk and be so loud it would drive me insane I left behind a lot of cleaning supplies so I could clean this place and make it look all nice the oven I'm gonna start spraying some of this Dawn on it and then just kind of like let it sit for a while i like, cooked something right before i moved out i had this oven like nice and clean and then i cooked something right before and it got all dirty and i was like oh I just vacuumed the entire apartment, living room, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, bathrooms, closets, everything. Vacuum everything. And then I also just wiped out my bathroom really quickly. I thought I was recording and apparently I wasn't. So of course it happens to me, but I'm going to take down my shower curtain and then collect anything else. And I think that's it. Last thing left to do is to unscrew my router from the wall. This is the first thing that I did when I moved in here was put my wife back. We're done. Wow. This like isn't really hitting me. It doesn't really feel real that I'm leaving. It's like, ow. That was ow. That actually really hurt. But like I was saying before, I hurt myself. 
this doesn't feel real. Like, I feel like it's not sinking in that I'm just this place. I have a big box filled with stuff. I think I'm gonna have to do two trips down to my car so I can also bring my vacuum. So I'm gonna go bring this to my car really quickly and then we'll come back up and we'll say our final goodbye. I'm dripping in sweat, but I just put this stuff in my car. Now we're gonna say goodbye, okay? Goodbye, bathroom and laundry room. This might be cringy, but it's who I am, so embrace the cringe. Goodbye, bathroom. Goodbye, closet. Goodbye, bedroom. Goodbye, living room. Goodbye, beautiful windows of walls of whatever that thing is called, screen door. That let in so much natural light. I will miss you so much. Goodbye. And goodbye, kitchen. I am so sad. I loved this apartment so much, and I always will. This is my first grown up apartment. I lived out my childhood dream in this apartment. It was a dream of mine as a kid to live on my own and I finally did it in this apartment. I'll forever be grateful. I'll miss you. I just want to make sure I have the keys for this place. I'm gonna go turn them in. Yeah, I have them. Goodbye. Just turned in my keys and everything and now I'm gonna go back to my new apartment It's crazy how fast my new apartment has felt like home Like I haven't even lived there for a full week yet being at this apartment It didn't feel like home anymore. It felt weird, but I'd lived there for over a year So it just it's weird. I feel really weird about it. This is the last time I leave last time I'm in this parking garage I'm feeling very nostalgic about it all. Bye to this apartment. I'll miss you